Hi guys, good morning. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you for tuning in with us again in another episode. I'm Wengela. I'm hosting this family channel. Here is all about family. You guys are seeing my kid grow up and I'm recently pregnant again. And well, I'm sharing a day, days in a life and routines and everything we are doing basically so if you're interested in becoming one more member of the family subscribe to the channel like the video that will help me a lot comment down below anything that will also help me a lot any interaction is good for youtube to see that you enjoy the content and let's get into the episode of today here you guys are seeing my baby trinity playing with her dad her dad is her favorite lately she's a daddy girl and she loves to play with her dad and obviously chilling in the sofa and he loves to play with her as well so we're making her laugh all day and just spending time together both of her parents so she's such a lucky girl and she's really happy and you know enjoying life as it's supposed to be i learned a lot from seeing them both uh, playing and I am here editing videos for you guys but anyway I'm preparing uh, some lunch some you know snack um, we love fruit so now I'm making a pineapple um, I'm just going to clean it all really well and slice it and just you know serve it as a snack and we enjoy fruits we also enjoy to do them in smoothies or any, any sort of way um, is really healthy and we want the baby to have this in her diet now that she has stopped to breastfeeding as well and yes I usually switch it up so one day we maybe have pineapple another day we have a smoothie another day we have another different fruits but it's really important for me to serve um, something healthy and natural at least twice a day hi guys how you all i hope you are great i'm wengila my baby trinity is over there jamai is upstairs we are going on a family walk to the beach um just over there thank you so much for all of you that are subscribed to the channel and if you're not a subscriber yet don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video, and that will help me so much, guys. And also, if you comment anything, that will also help me. I know I still have the Christmas tree. It's like half mid mid January, but the Christmas tree is too big, and I couldn't put it anywhere else. Like I, I didn't want to throw it because Jamai was like, like just throw it. It's alright. It was just 50 pounds, whatever. But I'm like, nah. You know, I'm just rather save it for the next year. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going out and let's make it happen. How you all? Hope you guys are great and living your best life. And yeah, let's go. It's a cold day, but I was editing here all day and we was just like, let's go for a walk. So my left the car repairing this morning and. Yeah, there's not much to do. So if you wanna come with us, join us, let's hang out and let's see what happens over there. Like it's usually so peaceful and I like to share these, you know, just to give you some fresh air. Because that's what it is for me to be honest. Because lately I'm happen uh, happens that I'm editing all day. I'm just here at home, not doing much. And the village here is very quiet, so there's not much to do. And with our car, the only thing we can do is going for a walk. So that's what we're gonna do now. And yeah, let's go. Trinity is outside playing with the flowers while Jama is ready. Guys, I'm four months pregnant now, 17 weeks, and I need to get some activity every day. And it's very important to go for a walk or do some exercise. And I have literally done anything during the first few months so i really have to force myself to go for a walk now and i'm forcing the whole family to come with me <laughs> and here we are going for a family walk um even though you see the weather is very sunny in my videos it's kind of cold now because we are in winter time 
this was in January so literally uh, we just have to really get ready and put some clothes on and just you know go for a walk to get some exercise and some movement and yeah uh, Trinity loves the outside, she loves the flowers, she's in love with flowers every time she sees a flower, she's like, flower! She's learning her first words and we live up a hill that is quite high so we need to get down the hill and it's amazing because we can see all the ocean and I'm picking flowers for Trinity as you can see here, she, she wants flowers and I, I like to take one different one every time I find one so she can see them, recognize them and we're just working. I asked him, how does he think the baby is gonna look? I think it's gonna be like Trinity. I don't know. You're already too beautiful. <laughs> What about me? <laughs> we have to walk right by the edge and Jama is like, I don't like it, I don't like it. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna fall down. <laughs> waiting for Jamai he just went to get a drink so we can find the our favorite beach and chill out over there and I'll show you guys my favorite beach is so nice it's, it's so cool you love it oh, it's not good. <laughs> do you like this life <laughs> what's your favorite part All of this. Favorite part, everything, man. Shit, everything. Come. It's closed. It's closed. There's no one inside. They can't go. But there's ice cream. Let me see. It's closed, baby. I'm sorry. Wow. You think so? Crazy eyes, prickly as well. Let's go, it's closed. Guys, we are in Torox. Torox is a very small village that is a summer town and usually everything is closed in winter so here we stopped by a bar but it was closed oh, and no, Trinity is saw closed. inside the ice cream machine and she stopped by and she was like ice cream, no. ice cream like she really wanted to have an ice cream and we just explaining to her we can't, the place is closed and all of this is just by the beach so obviously it's really peaceful to be here but it's so quiet right now we are literally the only ones in the beach and we just walking, playing with the rocks, observing the ocean. The ocean is really, really quiet today. This is the Mediterranean Sea, guys, and sometimes it goes wild when it's a lot of wind and stuff, but it's good that Trinity is awake and we can play with her a little bit, just get her to walk in the sand. And she usually gets tired really soon because, you know, there is no much entertainment for her here. So she's just picking up uh, rocks and playing with the sun. And as soon as she is done, we just, you know, make our way to our next stop. But as you can see, everything is see. We have like, 10 kilometers of just pure sea and beach and literally is the most peaceful thing ever you know guys we just moved here recently so everything is new for us as well and 
is quiet but it's um, a new thing that our mind is exploring you know just to um, see natural spaces and being outdoors with our baby is one of our favorite things to do even though I would like for her to have more friends and there is no as many small children as her in here because this is basically like a retirement places and most of the people are grown ups but yeah she have fun and she enjoys it and she spends most of her time you know and sleeping chilling outdoors in the beach she enjoys mm, to be with us with her daddy of course and we really have a lot of fun and it's um, amazing for me to share these moments with you because you guys know where we come from and we really had nothing back in the days we was living in a room and then we had a small flat but now we have um, everything we wish for to be honest a big space for our girl to live in and amazing views and living surrounded by this peaceful place is just amazing here we went down the other beach that we know, just a place where we like to chill out and just observe the waves and walk in the sand and everything is like very ideal. We love to spend time together at least one or two times per week to just so catch up to with each other and show you something now. spending like time they have one like time together there. and, it is and I'm gonna just go good. quickly film for you it's super nice because they have like little monuments with like names of people like rocks of the sea and it's super cool I'm gonna just go there and show you because it's just over here and then we're gonna go chill out by the beach but yeah we do basically this city have like seven kilometers of pure sea so we're just walking by the sea all the time it's very peaceful very quiet and at this time it's like there's nothing around literally just some cycling people one or two cars but very peaceful and luckily think he's asleep so that will give us a little bit of just a little bit of hang up so this is the monument that I was telling you I'm gonna get close so you can see but it's like the sea virgin they have the thing in there then they have a crown down there and let me go by and show you then they also have this castle up here this castle there's some artist guys that work on it every day and the first time I saw it was kind of small and now it's a bit big, so let's see how is the progression of the work. So, I don't know if you can see it, but it's super, you know, religious, kind of Catholic. I'm a Christian, but it's a lot of virgins and names and stuff. And it's super cool, it has a very nice energy, this place. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. I'm showing you here this monument. I found that it was like so nice. It's a virgin where they put like a monument with rocks, and I think it's the names of people that come here to visit, and they always they they leave like a gift to this virgin. And I'm not Catholic, but I do believe like because so many people came here and put so much energy in here, like the place hold a really strong high vibration and as you guys can see it's full of virgins full of like rocks with names so this is a very popular spot and i just found it the other day and i thought it would be really nice to share it with you so you can see here in andalusia is a very catholic and a very spiritual place and the people really likes these things so we are here this is the beach where we like to chill out well, my favorite one, um, just because it's a bit private, you know, it's like there's nothing here, literally. It's in the middle of nowhere and it's very chill and private. So just by this place, there's a, a really nice 
private beach and we just sit down there to have a drink that we just bought in a supermarket in a restaurant actually and we're just enjoying this drink looking at the birds looking at the sea and the boats everything was so nice Trinity was asleep so she let us a little moment to like chill out and be at peace by themselves the feeling of being here oh look at this one I love these small transparent ones This is literally a view right now, the one I just showed you. It's like really peaceful and you can really get zen now right here, you know. So we're just gonna chill here for a bit and then make, hopefully Trinity wake up and we can play with her a little bit. And what I will do is like, I'll take my shoes off now and I will walk with my feet in the sand for like a little bit, maybe get my feet in the water because this sand has a lot of like minerals volcanic minerals that are kind of healing for your body all your cells everything it's really really amazing and if you do it for like five to ten minutes a day at least you can get a lot of results and I notice you know since I start doing that I love to grind round and you know put my feet in the sand and touch the water even though it's quite cold we do like to do this quite a lot it recharges our energies and I think it helps health wise you know like all, all kinds of ways because it's just a vibration of the body aligns with vibration with the vibration of the earth the earth is vibing really high lately guys i don't know if you guys are into this but they say that there is a 5d gate open for the earth right now the sun is streaming down so many codes and things and i believe this is true because the way um you know all the vibration of the universe are is going up and up and it's kind of collective as well we all experiencing it together and it's true that the sun is really powerful is um, helping so many people you know heal and it's important to get this energy from the sun and from the earth and yeah it's just really tuning in with nature and with ourselves and um, spend a little bit of time here is our favorite time of the day and then we're walking back home because really there is not much to do we have like a half an hour walk from when we leave where we live to this beach then once we are back home it's just like sunset time i take some time to appreciate the sun appreciate you know this amazing life that we are living i you know, do bath time routine with Trinity. By this time, we are ready bath, dinner. I change her into her ¿Dónde pajamas. Está el libro? And we are in the ¿Dónde? bed, just reading books. She enjoys ¿Dónde her está? reading Dime. time. I try to ¿Allí? make it really, you know, like every day, really puntual and always be there reading books for her because she's Flores. learning new words now. she's learning a lot and she doesn't stop learning anything we are saying she's picking it up and it's important to just read for her speak with her even though we believe you know she, she maybe don't understand anything everything but she is picking up everything and babies are so smart and even I'm learning with her so much. So yeah, I'm literally just reading books for her. And I also have fun on this side. And after reading the books, we take the lights off. And a little bit after this, she's going to fall asleep. But literally, you guys spend the whole day with us. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I don't know how you enjoyed your time with your baby, with your little one. But I hope you try to create moments for them to remember as well, be with them and 
Literally, a little bit of time that we spend with them, it helps so much to the growth and the development and it's important for us to care for them, not just physically but emotionally in all sorts of ways. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. We love you.